the name of the piece is The Mathematical Garden, and the concept lied with being an organic kind of a garden uh, and incorporating some mathematical concepts into that. Well, we started with the concept of platonic solids, and we chose two of them, that is uh, dodecahedron and icosahedron, and that was our starting point where we continued from. We named our piece the Mura Torch. Honestly, when we named it, we were kind of lost at what's the final shape going to be. All we knew that we're going to use the pattern that you can see, and it's called the Mura pattern. This very nice origami pattern that folds completely flat. If we cut it open here, you could just nicely fold it up. But when you put it together, you can't do that anymore. And we thought that was quite interesting. Inspiration for the piece was this Sierpinski triangle, which is a simple fractal. We have this gradient in there, painted by hand. Uh, it creates different densities when you look it at different angles and they intersect each other. What we wanted to show is kind of a gate through another dimension, different from ours. We live in a dimension where three dimensions coexist and we wanted to show how it could be to go through a tunnel and then through a gate in order to arrive to a world where they, we cannot even imagine what's in that area. The focus of this work is the principle. So we're basically creating a uh, three-dimensional curve from, two dim from a two-dimensional curve. We wanted to show how uh, beautiful different kinds of surfaces this very rather simple uh, principle can create. We were inspired by Henry Sagerman's lecture. He has these objects which create shadows on flat planes, but we wanted to do the same thing, but with a curved surface. The actual objects you can see inside the cylinders, they are tilings of cubes. So there are, there are cubes inside them, but there's a different amount of cubes around each edge in the object. So normally you just have four, but we have five, six, and seven. They're actually in hyperbolic space and not the normal, normal Euclidean space. The original idea was here to show the mathematical nature of music and scales in general. The ratio between the tones is 3 to 1 compared to normal diatonic scale that has a ratio of 2 to 1. The idea was to visualize this mathematical concept called geometric flow which is a way of describing how curves move over time. And we do this very concretely with the help of so-called moiré patterns, which are created when stripes that are almost at the same direction are moved across each other. So we use this moiré pattern to create this flow. <laughs> 